Hi, this is Doran with Armory of Kings. Today we're going to remove a barrel shroud from a factory PS90 receiver. Let's get started. We're going to do this in four easy steps. You're going to need some way to mark where you're going to drill the hole. We have a piece of tape, measuring tape, a sharpie, and a punch. We're going to drill a hole with a 564 inch drill bit. And we're going to go ahead and drift out the blind pin with a hammer and a 1 16th inch punch. And then we have a 15 millimeter thin wrench and a piece of metal that fits inside of the flash hider to help hold everything while we remove the barrel. Step one is we've got to get this blind pin out of the factory barrel shroud. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to drill a hole on the opposite side and drift that pin out. Where do we locate that hole? We're going to locate it 5 eighths of an inch away from this existing hole. And we're going to do that by using a piece of tape or in this case we have a white sticker. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take my super dad measuring tape. Shout out to my son in elementary school. And we're going to go ahead and measure 5 eighths of an inch right here on the tape so that the camera can see it. And that's the distance of the hole. Then we're going to go ahead and take our punch and put it through one of these markings just like this. I'm going to peel the sticker off and put the punch through one of these markings right here. Line it up with the hole that exists on the receiver right now, on the shroud right now. And then we want the other hole to be lined with this one. So that this is lined up. And that is where we're going to drill the hole. Step two, we're going to go ahead and drill this hole. We start by marking the hole with our punch. This is a spring-loaded punch to make things easier, but you could certainly use a hammer and a regular punch. Just line it up and put that hole right in there. Okay, let's get this receiver in a vise so we can go ahead and drill this hole. Okay, we have the receiver in a non-marring wooden vise. You can certainly use plastic jaws on a metal vise as well, but you don't want to bang up your factory receiver. We're going to use this 564th inch drill bit, and we're going to drill the hole being perpendicular to the shroud at first and then tilting it to be aligned with the pin. Now that we drill the hole, we're going to go ahead and punch the blind pin out. Now what I like to do is I like to drift the pin out from the side that we drilled to the factory side because it helps remove any factory junk that they put in there to help seal it. I'll take my 1 8 inch punch and just dry that blind pin out. And here's a pro tip. A little bit of compressed air makes sure that there's no metal shavings in that hole that could possibly ruin the threads on the barrel. Finally, we're going to go ahead and remove the barrel from the barrel shroud. We're going to get it out of the vise. And then these slots are what we're going to go ahead and grab onto. We're going to go ahead and use this piece of metal and a thin 15 millimeter wrench to remove the barrel shroud. Now this piece of metal, I got it online from a metalworking shop. It was roughly two or three dollars. It's two inches long by one and a quarter inch wide and one eighth inch thick and it fits perfectly in the flash hider. And that's how we're going to hold it in the vise. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the barrel shroud in the vise just like this and tighten it down not too much so that it grabs it just like that. Now one pro tip to keep in mind is that the barrel shroud has left hand threads. So the normal lefty loosey righty tighty does not apply. We're gonna actually turn it in the opposite direction to loosen it. So to loosen it, we're gonna go clockwise. And there you have it. We've removed the factory barrel shroud from the factory PS90 receiver.